2021 was a fantastic year for the channel and me uh, buying some unusual cars and I thought, you know what, I have to see 2021 out with a bang. So on New Year's Eve I went out and bought this, a Rover 45 uh, 1.6 impression. Mm -hmm. Very nice, isn't it? <laughs> Quite a few owners from new, actually. I believe uh, in the past year or so, it's changed hands two or three times. Now, you think, why? Because it looks quite good. Yes, it's a Rover, and yes, uh, it has the three words that you need to worry about. Head, gasket, failure. <sighs> oh dear. Uh, so I bought it spares and repair. Never bought a car spares and repair before, uh, but obviously those of you that know me may or may not know, my dad for a very, very long time was a qualified Rover engineer. So what better uh, than to give him one last hurrah, so to speak, and uh, put his knowledge back to the test to fix a, uh, another K-series engine. This then, the 1.6 uh, on this Rover 45. Um, I bought it for less than £300 uh, with the head gasket failure, and uh, it has actually um, had the head gasket done now before making this video. So Dad spent the past week or so uh, stripping it down doing the head gasket and with that done a few of the uh, usual uh, things as well timing belt water pump uh, oil change air filter change spark plug change and a general service as well so along with the new head gasket and all the other gaskets that came with the kit uh, it's had everything else that needed to be done as well so looking at it this morning um, it's pretty much as I found it is your honest answer I've given it a quick uh, rinse off with the hose pipe uh, but I've not given it a scrub yet it's not seen any polish and uh, it's not certainly been hoovered out or uh, or tidied up in any way shape or form so I wanted to give you a quick walk around video of the car uh, having a look at some of the features and uh, an inside just for the channel so as I say the 1.6 impression mm. Uh, with the 15 inch alloy wheels uh, just here and I've not actually seen these alloy wheels on a 45 um, before I'm sure they were a standard or, or an option but they're in really good condition and, and actually the car when we look at it you'll see how good it is um, I have yet to find uh, a spot of rust on it um, it looks good and it is good um, I've had the sill covers off because they're plastic and they tend to go under there and there's no rust there and we'll have a look at the wheel arches as well because you will see there is no issues with the wheel arches whatsoever a couple of dings to be fair there's one in the back door there there's one in the front wing here uh, but nothing that a uh, dent person uh, would not be able to remove uh, easily really uh, it's had a, a knock here uh, on the front bumper here there's a scuff there as i say i haven't put any product on it no teacup no um mcguire's ultimate compound no nothing on there yet so i'm hoping that, that is going to be an easy problem to fix uh, so what have we got in this model? We've got the front fog lights, very nice. One thing I have noticed that I am, seem to be missing is the uh, headlight washers. Um, all the other 45 uh, hatchbacks that I have seen in this colour, uh, silver, have tend to have got the uh, headlight washers. So I'm not sure what's happened there, whether or not there was an extra, or whether or not this has had a new bumper at some point in its life. Uh, but I have had a quick look and I can't see the wiring and pipes for them so they don't seem to be there or have existed uh, so let's take a look then we've, what have we got we've got uh, the uh, later facelifty style um, smoked uh, indicator lenses there we've got color coded wing mirror caps we've got beautiful uh, chrome door handles or chrome colour door handles love those uh, and that's one of my favourite features on the Rover 75 as well is the uh, the chrome that was added the chrome side strips <laughs> bits and pieces uh, wheels in generally very good condition and actually the tyres we've got we've got new tyres nearly all the way around there's a couple of marks as I say that have been touched up at some point in its life we can have a look at those um, there's a couple of scuffs and scratches on this door which again I'm going to tackle that's not an issue uh, going around to the rear we have got a, a root spoiler uh, some come without some come with uh, we've got the uh, factory fit reversing sensors here and the tow bar as well that someone has put on um, it looks factory or it looks dealer option so uh, 
it, it looks like it's, it's been on there most of its life. Uh, what else have we got? We've got the Union flag. It's faded a little bit, but actually those are still available from places like Rimmers and on eBay and bits and pieces like that if we want to replace it. Uh, but, but when I look at these old Rovers, one of the things I think about is uh, is looking at the badges. And if the badges have massively failed, um, then they've spent most of their life outside. And this, from what I think and what I've been told, has spent most of its life in a garage. Uh, so we've lost the dealer sticker. Uh, this was supplied by Trinity Motors uh, in Hinkley. And actually I've got a copy of uh, of the dealer sticker to go back in there. We've lost the original number plates as well because Ray Bentley, um, local to Lincolnshire, sold that uh, a few years ago as well. But thanks to, uh, and a big shout out to Rover Joe on YouTube, uh, who has sent me a um, exact replica of the uh, dealer sticker for Trinity Motors in Hinkley. Uh, so we're going to get that on there as well. Right, let's take a look in it quick because uh, I know that you're dying to see inside it. And it, it smells like a Rover. Now one of my main questions uh, I got asked by people when I bought it was, uh, has the headlining got up and left? Has it done one and gone? Because they do, don't they? And the answer is no, uh, it hasn't. And uh, it's very nice and tight. It's never been pinned. Um, it's in very, very good condition, the headliner. But don't worry, because the next question I got is, have the door cards got up and gone? And the answer is, well, well yeah, they have. Uh, the door card fabric on all four doors has peeled away, uh, <laughs> tidied up as best as I can. Um, but it's got up and left, it's gone. And it will not uh, not be coming back. It's not something I'm gonna be retrimming. But interior-wise, uh, seats, very nice condition. They need a bit of a scrub. There's some marks on here. I don't know if that's paint or just general wear but uh, they will clean up very very nicely looking at the floors no floor mats which is one of my pet hates is when people take floor mats out and use them for other cars um it should have rover floor mats in um i can't source them from rimmer if you've got a set of original rover 45 floor mats please let me know i will buy them from you uh we've got the faux wood dash in the uh glove box here what have we got uh, we've got the spare wheel uh, we've got the locking wheel nut removal tool and the cap to take the caps off because they're capped. Oh, that's nice. We'll get, a, get a clean in there going on. Uh, we've got the handbook service manual and uh, all the time and belt uh, sticker as well because it has just been done. Uh, let's take a look inside here then. Uh, we've got the Rover cassette deck Blaupunkt player, uh, the LCD clock which has given up the ghost. Uh, it is totally dead. Uh, Aircon model on this. Um, it's not working. <laughs> I haven't managed to have a look at it yet. Could be something simple. Uh, we've got the wood trim there. Gear knob. Look at that gear knob. It is so nice. And it is hardly worn at all. It is beautiful. Uh, in here, uh, it's a bit wibbly is the honest answer. I need to give it a tighten up and a clean. And we've got cup holders and pen holders as well. I've got a Rover 45 pen to go in there uh, from my dad's days at Rover. Quickly taking a look at the back seats. <laughs> and uh, they're pretty much the same nice and tidy nice and clean naturally in this car it is the hatchback model uh, these fold up these fold down nice and flat and you could probably uh, probably sleep in there if you uh, if you get uh, kicked out or <laughs> or lost um, and actually uh, on new year's eve when i went and picked this up i'm sure mrs john coopland uh, was very ready to uh, say you're sleeping in it tonight uh, again door card material gone going ahead then quickly to the boot. We'll go around this side, we'll release it. This pass uh, passenger side door, uh, beautiful, lovely, lovely. Needs a good hoover out and a good clean, but looking good. Uh, driver's side, footwell looking a little bit you know, mangy because it, it hasn't had the floor mats in, but uh, we'll get that in. Um, so I wanted to just show you the mileage. I've got two key fobs, by the way. Uh, these fobs are the Lucas fobs. I've got two keys as well, uh, proper Rover keys. Car then, 46,940 miles. Um, there's the radio working and there's the clock giving up the ghost. Uh, but yeah, 46,000, so 47,000 miles basically. Nice, nice on the, uh, the Rover center there, get that clean and push the horn. There it is, sounding lovely. Uh, right, that's that. Not sure what this is about. 
don't want to investigate in case I break something, I think the uh, lock cover probably will fall out. Uh, right, let's pump the boot and we'll do the bonnet while we're here as well. Quickly looking into the boot and this lets it down in my opinion because someone has either half inched or lost <laughs> the parcel shelf. Um, if you have a Rover 45 parcel shelf in uh, grey and or black, please let me know. I will pay you handsomely for it. We'll put it back in the car. Uh, under here, uh, well, we've got straps for a uh, assumed fire extinguisher, maybe first aid kit. It needs a clean. It's, it's okay though. Backs of the seats, nice. Uh, we've got a spare number plate and we've got a original steel uh, spare wheel. Uh, look at this. Isn't that a shame? It's got the plastic on the toolkit and someone's had the devil open. Uh, it's a shame they haven't left that sealed. Uh, but uh, but yeah, toolkit in there as well. And there's a Rover um, Owners Club t-shirt in there. Yeah, it's certainly not my size of extra, extra, extra large, uh, large Lincolnshire man. So I'll leave that in there as well. Uh, quickly, we'll go around to the engine bay. We will open this up and it will be a quick one because I've actually got to take Mrs. John Copeland to work. So quickly under there, having a look at the engine bay, uh, coolant, had to clean all the tank out after the head gasket failure, new battery, and uh, of course the 1.6K series engine as well. So that's it, that concludes the video uh, of the 1.6 impression over 45. And uh, any questions in the comments below, and I'll keep you updated with another video shortly, how she uh, cleans up.